the three secrets of marksmanship. I'll show you now the three secrets to shoot your gun straight. Shooting the gun straight, hitting your target, it is not an accident. It is not about luck. It is about following these three basic secrets. Now, though, be careful. These three secrets will be adapted in real life according to the distance of your attacker. But these are the three general secrets of marksmanship or principles of marksmanship that you need to use every time you shoot any handgun, regardless if it's semi-automatic or revolver. First of all, in each handgun, you have two sides, front sight and rear sight. Front sight and rear sight. The first thing you need to obtain is called sight alignment. Front sight must be perfectly aligned with your rear sight. When I say perfectly aligned, must be that must be flushed in the height. The target one is the front side one is the rear side but the only place we want to focus our eye on or eyes must be the front side that means the front side must be sharp in our vision our target a little blurry our rear side a little blurry the reason is why in this way you will be containing your group in a very much more accurate way if you focus on the front side that's what happens. If I focus on the target or rear side, especially beyond five yards, you're gonna have your shots a little bit everywhere. So side alignment, side picture, focusing on the front side. Third secret, what we call trigger control. That means if I have a perfect side alignment, side picture, but then I do not press the trigger in the right way, but I modify why disturb this side alignment with a bad press trigger press like for example now look see down or look to the left or to the right jerking it you see so the point is I must do a press trigger smooth without alterating the side alignment it's a surprise break, we call it. Means that I'm pressing, 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 and technically I don't even want to know when it's going to go off. Of course I know because I know when I want it, but you know what I do like that. Okay, I'm coming, okay, I'm almost there. Boom. No. Final part is incorporated in the third secret or trigger control. We call it trigger reset. Normally the average shooter will do that. Trigger press, the gun cycles, finger off the trigger guard, and then back in. What happens here? Wasting time, disturbing probably the side alignment. And, of course, we don't utilize at its full potential the trigger. Now look with the trigger reset. Press, hold it back, completely all the way back. The slide will lock. Excuse me, the slide will up, going up. Now, another chamber, not under round in the chamber, and I release the trigger until I find this click, trigger reset. Now I press again, hold it back, slide cycles, trigger reset. Not only we will not disturb the side alignment, not only we will have less time to go back in and out, but also we will use the full potential of this trigger. Now when I press the trigger from this point, from the trigger reset, the pressure that I need to apply, mostly it will be off 
or much less. And the initial time I press the trigger with the slack. 